Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about a topic called as blue dot sign. Blue dot sign. If you look at this picture carefully, uh, here the, the scrotum is being palpated by the doctor and this is the contour of the testis and here at this particular area there is a blue bluish discoloration seen and that is what, call, what is called as a blue dot sign. Blue dot sign is classically seen in a condition called as torsion of torsion of testicular appendix. It is a remnant of the Mullerian duct. It is a remnant of the Mullerian duct. The Mullerian duct, if you can recall, is present, it gives rise to the female genital urethral structures. Uh, it regresses and is, uh, is represented by the appendix of the testis as the remnant of the Mullerian duct. So here is a picture. This is a picture of the testis. You can see it's the outline of testis. It's the epididymis. And at the upper pole of the testis, this is the testicular appendages or testicular appendix at the upper pole of the testis. It's also called as hydatid of morgagni. It's also called as the hydatid of morgagni. When a patient presents to us at the emergency with acute scrotum, there are quite a few possibilities or differentials. One of them is definitely um, testicular torsion. The first thing that should come to our mind and obviously on top of the list. Next, torsion of testicular appendages or appendix. Then that is epididymo or chitis. There can be testicular rupture. In a prepubertal age group patient of uh, let's say 8 to 12, testicular torsion and torsion of testicular appendix is very common or is more common. I do not uh, sus suspect uh, epididym orchitis because uh, epid epididymitis is uh, coexistent mostly with an UTI and probably has a sexual history which is not so common in this particular age group. So in this discussion we are very much interested in these two conditions one is testicular torsion okay and the torsion of the appendages of definitely uh, testis this is a life threatening condition it's a life threatening condition this is not life threatening this requires uh, emergency surgery or exploration, this can be managed conservatively. You don't even have to take the patient to OT. Just give them some reassurance and give some some pain medication or NSAIDs. Uh, uh, immobilization, immobilization for some time and they will be just fine because appendix can be sacrificed. Appendix of testis can be sacrificed whereas testis cannot be sacrificed. Sacrifice. 
So if a patient presents with acute scrotum, we definitely have to rule out testicular torsion. Uh, I definitely train myself to think that any kind of an acute scrotum is testicular torsion until and unless proven otherwise. So after taking a good history uh, and uh, giving them initial pain management, we definitely mobilize the patient for an urgent color Doppler. And in urgent color Doppler, I definitely look for these signs. One is reduced flow to testis. There is increased size to testis. Oh, these are color Doppler uh, findings. Obviously, physical examination uh, parts like bell clapper testis, friend sign, and uh, whether absence of cremasteric reflex obviously these are important but definitely color doppler because this will give us a definitive answer and will tell us whether we have to take the person or patient to the operation theater or not so reduce color flow increase size uh, of increase size of testis and uh, whether there is any collection or any edema present or not these are, these are quite uh, definitely it gives us pointers towards uh, testicular torsion but if there is torsion of the appendages appendages is usually 5.6 millimeter in case of a torsion because there is venous congestion and there is uh, uh, edema uh, it uh, the appendix uh, can uh, increase the size more than 5.6 millimeter and it can be visible on a color doppler um, but uh, again uh, there will not be any decreased flow to testis the blood flow to testis will be maintained the size of the testis will uh, not be uh, increased there is not going to be uh, that much collection but uh, edema can be present so uh, we definitely have to uh, do, get a color doppler done and differentiate between testicular uh, torsion as well as torsion of the appendix if it's a testicular torsion we go for operative management if it is a test uh, uh, torsion of the appendix it can be managed and they're ready so thank you folks that's all about the blue dot sign and the testicular torsion and the torsion of the appendix it's a short video thank you so much